What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Here we are with another reaction. In this we have Sarah Milliken. Absolutely love her. She is hilarious. The seven signs of aging. Well, uh, before we dive in, if you guys happen to enjoy, please don't forget to subscribe. Get a video a thumbs up. Let's see what we got, Sarah. Give me a word if you've heard of the term, the seven signs of aging. I have not. There's quite a lot of you. For those of you who haven't, let me tell you what they are. The me. seven signs of aging are this. Dark spots, wrinkles, saggy skin, dry oh. skin, dull skin, and visible pores. And the reason they're all skin related is because this is what we're told by skincare companies. This is not what my seven signs of aging are. I've written them down for you. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you. This is my seven signs of aging. They said the reason why we told this because it's written by skincare companies. I obviously want you to buy their products to, to slow aging down or to make it look that it's like uh -uh, uh -uh, that, let me tell you what my seven signs of aging number is. one you have more baths than showers mostly because you got more time but also because sometimes things need a steep <laughs> <laughs> oh my days not steep number two the menopause which mostly affects women but can affect some men who live with the women who are going through the menopause. And to those men, I say, boo fucking who. <laughs> One thing you might not know is that before the menopause there's something called the perimenopause, and before that is the peri-perimenopause, where you still get the hot sweats, but they smell of lemon and herb. <laughs> <laughs> Some of you are pretending you're too posh for a Nando's joke, <laughs> which is hilarious given where we are. <laughs> 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 Number three, your neck. People look at your neck a lot more after you hit 40. My neck is fine, thanks very much. All I have, and it's nothing medical, it's nothing to worry about, is a line that goes across it from I left it. to right. What it looks like, it. it looks like I was beheaded a long time ago. <laughs> and it's healing really well. <laughs> I do see the line, sir. I do see the yes. I, and you could have thought, I mean, looking at it, you would think, yes, yeah, she was beheaded. But, like, yeah, not with an axe, with, like, some wire. And they just pulled at the perfect time and sliced it, a perfect slice. And they put her head back, and it is healing well. The only You're trouble right. I ever get from my neck is that every now and again, that line needs a little dust. <laughs> <laughs> Number four, piles. Give us a cheer. No, don't, don't. Oh. Occasionally yeah. suffer from piles. How I know they're bad is that my farts sound different. Oh. I mean, yeah, I, I might be aging too because I mean, I, I have had them a time or two. Uh, have had them a time or two, and yeah, it is. It is bad. It is. It is terrible. <laughs> Number five, you need a weekly tablet box. Give me a woo if you, like me, use a weekly tablet box. <laughs> Loads of you. Sometimes it's the only way I know what day it is. Or oh, Tuesday's tablets must be fucking Tuesday. <laughs> when I collect my tablets from the chemist, they fill a shopping bag. They fill a fucking shopping bag. Now, the last time this happened, I bumped into a woman that I know. I'd call her a friend, but I wouldn't mean it. We've all got those people, haven't we? You know those people, you, you don't remember how you got them in your life, so you don't know how to get fucking rid of them. She's one of those. <laughs> She's not a nice lady, she makes me feel uncomfortable. But I bumped into her, she pointed to my thankfully unmarked shopping bag and she said, Eh, have you been treating yourself? And I just said, yeah, because I thought, what's the alternative? What I really want to say is, oh no, in here are some anxiety meds that make this fucking conversation bearable. <laughs> Yeah, you I, you can't do that, sir. I, we can't be rude out here. We gotta be polite. We gotta be nice. We we can't be savage like that, sir. <laughs> also, if we do have any really young people in the room, a pillbox is not what you take to a nightclub. Different thing. <laughs> Although, if you are in a nightclub, it's still important to take your meds, isn't it? My thyroid's not gonna start working just because I've had a hooch, is it? No. <laughs> Number six, your skin. People look at your skin when you're born and then nothing for 40 years and then everybody's got a fucking opinion about <laughs> your skin. A friend of mine said, your skin's nice. I said, thank you. She said, can I ask a question? I said, sure. She said, do you use fillers? 
Now, I'm about to tell you something that you might find a little bit disappointing in me, because I said, yes, it's true, I do use fillers. They're not the traditional kind. I call them cakes and pies. <laughs> yes, it's true, I do use fillers, but not the traditional kind. I call them cakes and pies. Come on now. I put poison in your face when you could put lovely things in your mouth. I just don't understand the logic, I really don't. <laughs> I do like to buy skincare. I refuse, however, to buy anything that calls itself anti-wrinkle, because I myself am not anti-wrinkle. I've got wrinkles, I'll get more, it's absolutely fine. I'm not going to spend yeah. 30 quid on something that reckons it stops fucking time. I'm not doing that. <laughs> I buy moisturiser for the same reason we all buy yeah. moisturiser, because isn't it nice to feel a little bit slippy before bedtime? <laughs> The last time I bought skincare, the website I bought it from said, because you've spent over X amount of money and to a free sample, choose one of the following things, we'll send it on. Great, I love a freebie. The one I chose, though, was purely out of curiosity because it was called Youth Serum. And I thought, what the fuck is Youth, youth Serum? Serum? Are they going to send me the skin of a child to lie over my own? They might. And then I thought, what if it looks like Teddy Bear Ham? I fucking love Teddy Bear Ham. <laughs> How youth are we talking? Am I going to get pulled over by the police while I'm driving my car? And they're going to go, how are you driving this? And I'm going to go, I'm 47, I'm just covered in teddy bear ham, look! <laughs> but also, youth serum to me sounds too much like teenage boys jizz. <laughs> oh. I mean, when you put it that way, I wasn't even thinking that way. I didn't even think... But when you put it that way, you, you got to go Your sheets us. are covered in youth serum, <laughs> Jamie, you dirty fucking bastard. <laughs> And there's factories, just teenage lad lined up after teenage lad, just knocking <laughs> one out to a catalogue. <laughs> number catalog. seven on my list of the seven signs of aging is fuck you, it's a privilege to get old because not everybody gets the chance. That's true. That's true. mean people we've lost. I also mean people like Madonna. Stay with me. So, <laughs> whenever Madonna pops up on my Instagram, I always feel bad for her. Poor Madonna. Why isn't she allowed to get old? Doesn't seem fair that we're all allowed to get old and she isn't. I would like to never see Madonna again, because then I can imagine she's retired. She's clocked off. She's sitting on the sofa in like stained jogging bottoms, <laughs> watching Escape to the Country on the loop. Maybe she pops to being cute, treats herself to one of those garden kneeler pads. You know the garden kneeler pads? It doesn't even cross her mind she could use it for blowjobs. Doesn't even cross her mind. But she's retired. She could hang her crucifix back up on the wall instead of jamming it in her fanny like she did when I saw her at the Manchester Arena that time. I'm sure Jesus would be relieved. And he's been in some tough spots, as we know. <laughs> And he's been in some tough spots as we know. <laughs> she could reappropriate a corn bra for when people come round, turn it upside down. Crisps in one, nuts in the other. <laughs> I think it might be because she's in America. I think if she was over here, we'd treat her better. I think if she was over here, the rest of her career would pan out as follows. I think she'd do six months behind the bar at the Queen Vic. Okay. And she'd do a regional theatre tour of calendar girls with two loose women in a Nolan. There you go. And finally, she would fuck a professional dancer. Sorry, do Strictly. <laughs> you do, you do have to spare a thought for the people who aren't allowed to get old. I, for one, can't wait to let myself go a bit more. <laughs> for a bit more. You know what would be great is if... <laughs> Uh, absolutely love giving a chance to react to Sarah. However, that is it. That's all we got. I'll see y'all next time. If you enjoyed, don't forget to subscribe, give the video a like, and check out the next one.